Hi, this is George Cow, and I'm going to show you in this brief tutorial how I use Zoom, which is my favorite video conferencing software. I use Zoom every single day that I have a client meeting. Uh, I use Zoom with all of my clients, uh, and then I'm also starting to use Zoom for uh, webinars as well, but I also do Zoom for group client meetings. The wonderful thing about Zoom is that um, it's not just a one-way thing. Uh, I can show my video and, uh, to my clients, but they can also show theirs to, to me. Uh, we can do like a group meeting where everyone is on the screen together. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how this works with like one other person, one other Zoom user. Uh, so uh, the first thing to do when you once you sign up for Zoom and you open Zoom is you, you're going to see something like this. Obviously your name's going to be here and you are going to be able to click on this thing called meetings down here and you're going to see your own personal meeting ID. This this is mine, Don't, so do not copy this. But you're going to see your own unique number. And this, uh, this will always be the default way that you can send people to meet with you in your own video conference room. This is sort of like your unique video conference room that will always be there. The easiest way is to click copy to get the link to be able to share with someone. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a document to show you like if I were if this imagine this was an email or something like that I would paste this okay and then this will be basically my 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 private uh, room and then this is the link that I can email you could basically email when when you when I clicked copy uh, when I click copy here and I paste it here it automatically pastes all this it's pretty amazing so you could just basically include this uh, obviously it's going to have your name etc but um, you can include all of this in in your email and your user your um, client or your audience member will simply need to click that uh, to go and start a meeting with you so uh, let's go ahead and 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 try that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and do this here give me a moment I'm starting a zoom on on my wife's computer so that I can show you how this works so uh, when it's time for the meeting what what I do then is I again when you log into zoom it's gonna look like this but then click on meetings and when it's time for the meeting you click start underneath the correct meeting so if you copied this and sent this one to your client then you want to come here and click start for here okay uh, so I'm gonna click start and voila there I am and uh, let's see, and then my, oh, give me a second here. Okay, so then now my, uh, I muted my, my other, this other computer here. <laughs> you can see me pointing. Uh, what I like, I want to show you a couple things. One is that I like to um, click and drag the, you can, you can best, by the way, click and drag this top part and move this thing around. You can also click and drag the bottom right to um, you can click and drag the bottom right to shrink or expand the window okay so that's really useful uh, just be careful not to click end meeting well even if you do it'll say if you want to end meeting for everyone or just leave the meeting or cancel so just uh, click and drag the right bottom right what I like to do usually is click on gallery view so I can see my client side by side and then I like to click and drag this so that it's the smallest vertical possible so that I can then um, take notes like this you know take take notes on the document but even better even easier is you can you can minimize this so if I click on minimize okay this shows up in the small tiny window with my, my client this is the other computer that's why you see me on the side here um, uh, so you can put this what I what I like to do is give me a second here if I can show um, what I like to do is move this tiny window to just underneath where my webcam camera is. My webcam camera is right right up here and I move this window right up to near the webcam. So as I'm looking and you can't you can't tell, um, let me see if I can show you. Like if I'm if I'm looking right at the win the, the video uh, on near the webcam, it looks like I'm looking at you. Does that make sense? So um, that's what I like to do and then let's go ahead and expand this back. And uh, one thing that's, oh, a couple of quick things here to show you is that um, this is where I would mute my own uh, audio. Uh, so now the other, now Kim cannot hear me. <laughs> this is Kim's computer. Um, okay, and this is how I mute my own video. So now on the other computer, uh, she wouldn't be able to see me. Okay, and then I want to start my video again. Actually, I, I should show you on the other side, side of things. So let's say I'm muting my, my video from the other side then here's what it looks like. 
this is her profile photo from, from Facebook, I guess. And so um, start the video again. Okay. Actually, it is confusing to see me like this, isn't it? So I'm just going to stop the video like this. Okay. So here, uh, what else do I want to show you? There are settings here. Uh, click here for audio settings and then click here for video set your own video settings. These are your own settings and then click on manage participants and this will allow you to manage uh, everyone who is in the conference room with you. This is of course yourself. You can mute yourself or rename your, your name here, but you can also do that muting yourself here. This is uh, the other person in the room and I can unmute her or I can click more and I can I can chat with her privately or I can um, ask for her to start her video camera. Um, I can allow her to record the meeting so that if she wants to record the meeting on her own computer, she can do that if I allow record. Um, and if I can remove, removing her means kicking her out of the conference room, okay? So um, one thing that I get asked is, well, how do I mute, if I'm gonna do a group meeting, how do I mute everyone Aut automatically in this course? This button down here is mute all. So if I click on that, if I click on this, there's, there's a pop-up box that says, do I want to allow participants to unmute themselves? So, of course, if it's a conference call, you want people to be able to unmute themselves to talk to you, then you keep this checked. But if it's a one-way lecture where you don't want people to, you don't want audience members to unmute themselves, then you, you want to uncheck that, okay, and then click continue. So now everyone is muted. She was already muted. But, um, uh, and this is, by the way, just for audio. This does not mute the video. Okay, this is just for audio. And then um, unmute all. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to mute her audio because there's feedback here. Okay, and then click on more to see some more options. So you can mute people on entry, meaning when they come into the con when they come into this conference room, their audio their their um, audio is automatically muted. Okay, so that's that's a choice you can make. Uh, you can also choose to not play the enter exit chime. Okay, and this is on or this is off. It's actually really strange. I, I actually find that even when this is off, people come in, there's a, there's a chime. So maybe, they, maybe there's a bug here, but anyway. Lock meeting means that if, if let's say I want to only meet with Kim and I don't want anybody accidentally clicking on the link I sent them some time ago to come into my personal room, then I would want to lock the meeting so that no new attendees can join. Okay, and so that's what that means. Um, okay. Oh, I've, 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 okay, this is either lock, okay, now it's locked. If I want to unlock it, I have to click here and unlock meeting. There we go, okay. So uh, let's see what else is important here. Oh, the chat. If I click on chat, you see that this is everyone, which means if there are multiple people in the room and I typed something, okay, that means this is going to everyone. But if I wanted to chat with Kim privately, then, then I would click here and this is, you see, this is only messaging Kim privately. Uh, but again, if I cl click back on everyone, then I'm, then I'm messaging everyone, okay? All right, and then um, the chat transcript, by the way, is going to be recorded if you record this thing. So let me show you now the record button. Very simple. You just simply click record, and now the video and the audio are both recording. If Kim had turned on her camera, her video would be recording here as well. Uh, if she were talking, of course, this is all, this is all recorded. Very simple. And then if you want to stop the recording, you simply click here or you can simply end the meeting. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. Is if I click on speaker view, I can say that I want to um, pin my video. Uh, let's see, no, or I want to, oh, okay. She, she has her video muted. Uh, let me see if I can show you what I mean here. Um, second here. Whoops. Okay. Uh, you can basically double click to expand this to the full uh, or, okay, actually I'm not really entirely sure what pin video means. I can, you can look that up if you're interested, but I usually use gallery view if it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, okay, so I think that's about it. I, um, uh, one thing I love about Zoom is that it's mobile friendly so people can join you even if they're using a mobile device. And uh, let me just end the meeting and show you what happens here. So when I end the meeting, it's converting the, um, the, the, the meeting into audio and video format that can be played back. And if, I, if it's an hour-long meeting, I find that it takes about 20 minutes to convert, so just so you know. Um, oh, and also I want to show you that if you want to, um, if you want to, give me a second here, okay. 
Okay, for some reason the chat didn't save. It usually saves the chat. Maybe there wasn't enough words, or maybe you want to click on that button you saw earlier that said save chat within the chat box. Uh, anyway, just just uh, that's interesting. It usually saved the chat automatically. This is the audio file. This is the video file, and um, it usually puts it on your desktop. But you can you can you can go to I think settings. You can go to settings and then choose uh, when you record it. Where do you want the recording saved at? Okay, so you can you can do that. And then uh, here on the home screen, start with and without video. This is tricky because when you use one of these buttons, it creates a unique, it creates a unique um, uh, conference room link. And these buttons do not create the same link as your normal link if you click here and click start. So these are all unique links. Uh, every single time you click it. So if you wanted to create a, a private room that will never ever be used again, you would come here and click one of these orange buttons. And then if you want to do a, a separate type of meeting, for example, I have a co-working, virtual co-working space that I'd like to use that I don't like to use my personal room just because those are for my clients, but I like to use a co-public kind of room. So the way I did that was I went to home and I click schedule. And then and then instead of putting a time here, I put recurring meeting. Okay, you see all that? I clicked on recurring meeting to make it uh, a con consistent link, the same link always for this particular meeting. So if I said public George Cow room, you know. And then uh, question is when people join, when participants join the room, do you want their video automatically on or off? I like to choose on because I find that if I have participants' video off, they're very shy to turn on their video, but if I have them come into the room immediately with their video on, they they might have a little bit of a surprise in, the, in just the few, few, first few seconds, and then they get used to it very quickly, and the, the meeting is much more engaging when you can people can see each other's faces. So I really recommend this being on. This means my video is on when I come into the meeting by default. Audio options, I would suggest both. So if people wanted to call in only, they could do that, or if they would only wanted, uh, they want to use a computer, they can do that. So both is good. I like to click on enable join before host. What that means, well, it's not necessary actually. This, this just means that if people came into the room, the video conference room before you did, they would be able to interact with each other before you came in. So that's the question is whether you want to do that. If it was a webinar, like a one-way lecture type of thing, then you definitely do not want to enable join before host because you want the presentation to be really professional and you start the meeting, that kind of thing. But if you just if it's a conference call or you know, if it's just with another client, you can just enable them to join before before you come in. Um, you can also require a meeting password. I've never done that before, but that's a cool feature. And um, and then I click schedule. Oh, this is a public room. So let's say this is this was a webinar, like a lecture. Okay. Then I don't want to. Then I want to start the meeting. I don't want people to be able to start talking before the meeting. So I want to click schedule. And as you can see, what has, what's going to happen is, um, oh, Zoom automatically pulls up my Google Calendar and puts the information in there. But what I want to show you is, uh, if I go to meetings. There it is, the recurring George Cow public room there. And I would click on copy to get the URL to send to my audience. And then I would bring up my, uh, my email or whatever. And then I would, um, I, would, I would paste. And then this would be, this would be uh, my unique uh, URL for that public room. Okay, that would send to my clients. And then, and I, I should mention, people can join via the phone if they want to, they, they don't, they don't want to do video or they're on the road. And then when I'm ready to start the meeting, again, when I open Zoom, it's like this, but I click on meetings and then I click on start for the right room that I want to start the meeting in. So I hope that's helpful. Um, any questions, let me know. Zoom has some great deals. I think there, there's a free uh, version, which you can have meeting, unlimited meetings up to 40 minutes, I think. And then there's a $15 version where meetings can be up to 50 people simultaneously in the conference room at the same time. Uh, for you know conference uh, conference calls or or uh, webinars or whatnot. So and then they have higher option, higher priced options, which you can have many more people as well. So I hope that's helpful, and um, I hope you'll have fun using Zoom. Take care.